never do these seven things for a woman. Today, we're diving into an essential but often overlooked topic in dating and relationships, seven things you should never do for a woman. Even with the best intentions, what we think is helpful or romantic can sometimes have the opposite effect, impacting the dynamic of your relationship. I'm here to guide you through these common pitfalls and help you understand why they might not be as beneficial as they seem. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear perspective on how to maintain a healthy balance in your future relationships. And make sure to stay until the end because there's a special tip that ties everything together and adds a new dimension to what we've discussed. It's advice you won't want to miss. So now, let's get started. Number one, giving too many gifts. Gifts are wonderful but there's a limit. Showering someone with too many gifts can send the wrong message. Let's explore why. While gifts are a great way to show you care, giving too many can make it seem like you're trying to buy her affection. This can create a sense of obligation or debt, making her feel that you're not interested in a genuine connection. Remember, affection and respect can't be purchased. Instead of overwhelming her with gifts, focus on building a strong bond based on understanding and shared experiences. This approach is more meaningful and shows you value her for who she is, not for how she responds to your gifts. Overgifting can lead to discomfort and pressure rather than joy, making the relationship seem transactional. A balanced approach to gift giving shows thoughtfulness and attention without overwhelming her or creating unwanted implications. Number two, being a yes man. Next, let's talk about always being a yes man. While it might seem like a good way to keep someone happy, it actually has its drawbacks. Constantly agreeing with her, especially when you don't actually agree, isn't the best strategy. It can make you seem like you lack your own opinions or convictions. Healthy relationships thrive on mutual respect and honesty, not just on agreement. It's crucial to have your own viewpoints and express them respectfully. Managed disagreements can strengthen a relationship, demonstrating that both partners can communicate and respect each other's perspectives. Remember, being true to yourself is more appealing than always being agreeable. Being a yes man can undermine your self-respect and create a one-sided relationship. It's important to show that you have your own thoughts and beliefs. This balance is key for a healthy dynamic relationship where both partners are appreciated for their individuality and openness in communication. Number three, changing yourself completely. Now, let's delve into our third key point changing who you are to please someone else. While it's normal to want to impress, completely altering your identity is another matter. Why is this harmful? Adjusting your personality or interests to match hers can come off as insincere and signal a lack of confidence in who you are. It might imply that you think you need to be someone different to be accepted. Healthy relationships are built on the foundation of two individuals who value each other for their true selves. It's great to explore new interests together, but it's crucial not to lose your identity in the process. Embrace your genuine interests and share them. This kind of authenticity is far more attractive as it demonstrates self-confidence and honesty, essential elements of a strong and respectful relationship. Completely changing yourself can lead to dissatisfaction and a sense of unfulfillment. It's important to be loved and appreciated for who you genuinely are, not for an artificial persona. Authentic connections are formed on the basis of mutual respect for each other's individuality and unique traits. Number four, being constantly available. Next, let's address the issue of being constantly available. While attentiveness is important, there's a fine line between being caring and being overly available. Why is this a problem? Always being at her beck and call might initially seem like a way to show you care but it can also signal that you lack your own interests and life outside the relationship. This can unintentionally make you seem less intriguing or independent. Healthy relationships thrive when both partners maintain their own hobbies, friendships, and commitments. This balance reflects that you have a fulfilling and interesting life, which is inherently more attractive. It's crucial to be supportive and present in your relationship while also preserving your own identity and commitments. This balance demonstrates self-respect and a well-rounded character. Being constantly available can lead to an imbalance, making you appear overly dependent or clingy. Instead, aim for a balanced approach where you show genuine interest and availability, but also maintain your own life. 
This approach is more sustainable and attractive, showcasing confidence and a healthy respect for personal boundaries. Number five, trying to solve her problems. Now let's tackle the issue of trying to solve her problems. While the instinct to help is commendable, there's a delicate balance between being helpful and overstepping. Understanding this balance is key. So why isn't always jumping in to fix things the best approach? It's a common misconception that solving her problems is the ultimate way to show you care. However, not every situation calls for a solution. Often, what she needs more is empathy and a listening ear. Jumping directly into problem-solving mode can make her feel that her emotions and perspectives are not being acknowledged. It's crucial to evaluate the situation first. Ask her if she wants advice or simply needs to vent. This shows that you respect her capability to handle her own issues and that you're there to provide emotional support. Listening and understanding can often be more valuable than offering solutions. Constantly trying to fix problems can be frustrating for her and might undermine her feelings or abilities. Hence, it's essential to listen first and offer help only if she asks for it. This method creates a supportive environment where she feels understood and appreciated for her own strengths and viewpoints. Number six, excessive compliments. Let's delve into the realm of compliments and flattery. While it's widely accepted that compliments are positive, there's a limit that when crossed can be detrimental. So why might excessive flattery not be as beneficial as you think? Compliments are an excellent way to show appreciation, but when overdone, they can lose their impact and sincerity. Overly frequent praise can come off as insincere or as if you're trying too hard to win favor. People appreciate genuine compliments that are heartfelt and specific. Using compliments too often can make them seem hollow or manipulative. Instead, focus on giving thoughtful compliments that genuinely reflect your feelings. This shows that you notice and value the things that truly matter about her, rather than using praise as a means to an end. Excessive flattery can undermine the authenticity of your interactions, making you appear insincere. It's crucial to strike a balance, be genuine and sincere in your compliments. Well-placed, authentic praise is far more effective and appreciated than a constant stream of empty flattery. Number seven, bonus tip, embrace self-care and personal growth. As we wrap up our discussion on what to avoid, let's finish with a valuable bonus tip, the significance of self-care and personal growth. While nurturing a relationship is commendable, tending to yourself is equally crucial. Let's explore why fostering personal development and self-care is imperative within relationships. Prioritizing your emotional and physical well-being is essential for your overall happiness. It's not just about maintaining appearances, but also about nurturing your inner well-being. Engaging in activities that nourish your mental and emotional health, such as exercise, exploring hobbies, or simply taking time to unwind is paramount. Personal growth encompasses continually learning, challenging yourself, and striving to become the best version of yourself. When you invest in your growth, you enhance your capacity to contribute positively to any relationship. Your happiness and confidence shine through, enriching the dynamics of your connection. Healthy relationships flourish when both partners prioritize individual fulfillment and growth. By prioritizing self-care and personal development, you cultivate a stronger sense of self and contribute to a more robust relationship dynamic. This approach ensures that you maintain your identity within the relationship and avoid solely relying on your partner for fulfillment or validation. Now that you know what never to do for a woman, you might also wanna know how to act when a woman ignores you to destroy her ego. Watch this video up here. She would regret not giving you time of day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insights. Thank you for watching.